Hi, I'm Ohio nursing home abuse lawyer Will Eady, and I've gotten the message from these videos that while people appreciate the information, it can seem like a lot of bad news, a lot of negativity, and, and I hear you. Unfortunately, a lot of the work, uh, a lot of the cases I see are when things have gone really wrong, when a nursing home's really done a bad job, but there are plenty of good feel-good stories out there, and I love the idea of helping folks to stay healthy in a nursing home and promoting good behavior by nursing homes. So I wanna draw attention to this article. I'll put a link to the article in the comments. Totally check it out. It, it has a touching video, well worth watching. It's about the Center Crest Nursing Home in Pennsylvania it has a free uh, salon and barbershop for their residents. Apparently some kind of volunteer group comes in a couple times a week and provides free cuts and shampoos and perms and coloring and really just you can tell in watching this video what a difference it makes for those residents to feel like cared for human beings to be able to feel like they can have dignity and look their best and I just as I heard about this and I compare this with some of the nursing homes I see I just wonder, you know, can we do more to expand that kind of volunteerism in nursing homes? You know, I've gone into nursing homes to volunteer. It tends to be caroling on the holidays or, you know, bringing stuff in for one day. I love the idea of some kind of recurring positive impact on residents. And the other thing I saw, even though it's only a short video from this um, news broadcast, is that the residents were clearly interacting with each other in a social way and it was really an opportunity for them to feel connected both with each other and with folks who were coming in as volunteers uh, who looked largely to be retiree age so it seemed like just a wonderful way to bring some joy into these folks uh, lives and while it doesn't cost the nursing home much maybe uh, except whatever they'd be charging for those salon services I guess uh, I want to commend the nursing home for being open to the idea being welcoming and it sounds like they're building another facility that is going to have even better um, area for salon services and that I know is not always easy for nursing homes to do is both find these types of opportunities and encourage and welcome them when they're trying to do the very serious business of providing for people's immediate health care needs. So congratulations to Centercrest Nursing Home in Pennsylvania. If you guys know of other great stories like this or even examples of nursing homes in Ohio who are doing this type of work, I'd love to give them a shout out as well. So let us know in the comments. And if you watch the video, let me know what you think, because I think at least touch my heart. So this is Ohio nursing home abuse lawyer, Will Eady, hoping everyone stays happy and healthy in a nursing home. Thanks.